Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu In this session we will see I have this electric bike for children It is not working So let's check what is the problem It is providing 8.4 volts So it has 6 volt battery that is not charging This time it is providing 8 volt, 8.5 volt. But when I connect power connector here, it goes in charging mode, and it remains in this mode. It have two problems. When it is connected to charger, it starts charging, and even it re remains on the charger for 24 hours. After that, it just only indicates one bar just one bar the second problem if we move back or forward it is not moving if we select forward it does not move let's check what, where is the fault First of all we will take a flat screwdriver and here is the nut. We will rotate it and we will lift this cover up. Here is the battery. We will check it. Yes, it is just only 3.9 volts. And now I will connect the charger. When we connect the charger we can see immediately this battery jumped up to 6 volt that's not good we will replace battery now I will replace battery for that I will remove this bracket here two screws for the bracket this bracket and this is our battery Okay, this one is the new battery that is 6 volt 7 AH. The original battery that is 6 volt 6 AH. So I will remove this battery that is NEL and I will install this battery. If the terminal lugs are slightly loose you can press them so that it will not make a loose connection yes now it's okay this one is also loose okay yes that's nice I need to check it. What is the voltage value here? Yeah, it is 6 volt. I will correct the charger. Yes, it is charging. That's nice. And it is increasing slowly. Now I will turn on this power button. Yes, the new battery is now powered on and it is giving one, two, three bars. That means the battery health is good. So it is a new battery, we need to charge it. But okay, I will make reverse and I press pedal button, it is not moving. Move to forward forward condition. It is not. A reverse not moving the lights are working good in the first step we will check this forward reverse button forward it is not moving if the problem not solved from this button then we will move to this button and then we will move to the motor 
Now I will pull this switch using a simple common screwdriver. Lift it up in this way. Now this switch is out with the base. Here is the base fitting of the switch. Okay, now I remove this switch. Now I will test this switch in continuity mode. Now set multimeter to continuity to test this switch. It is a double pole, double throw, simple switch. Double pole, double throw. Six point switch. Now I turned on this switch, these two points must give continuity. When it is pressed forward side, these two points and these two points will make continuity. It is open, multimeter is giving good reading but the switch is open. This is open. Now to the other side, check the points, other side points, opposite points here. It is giving continuity. The one one point it is giving some resistance. Just only out of four points. So this switch is bad. I have another switch. Let's check this good one switch. Turn on this switch to the forward side and check opposite side these points and these two points. Let's check these two points. It is giving continuity. It's good. Press other side and check these points. It's okay. It's okay. Now I will install this switch and then we will check. Now we will test it. I will turn on in the forward side. Oh wow. That's nice. Reverse. Wonderful. Forward. Pedal switch. It is moving. That's nice. Press this button. That's nice. So our problem finished. This battery and this double pole double throw switch, it was bad. Now I will install this bracket, install the seat and I will lock the seat here. Now I installed the bracket here and I connected the multimeter and now I will connect the charger to test as a final check so that the battery is charging. So it's good. It is charging. Yes, that's good. Now for the final check, I will turn on this switch to forward position. It is moving forward. I will press this switch to reverse. Press this pedal switch. Now it is coming back. I hope so. This video is good. If it is good, hit the like button. If you have any question, let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching.